everybody. Thank you for joining me today. I just thought I would check in and maybe do some altered guest checks. And I have a few that I've worked on already, done a little bit on, and I thought I'd just work on getting some more done. So let's see. What can we add? Well, I have a few little things right here we can grab from. Maybe we'll take Believe you. Oh, I like that, but I'm going to put it maybe right there. And I have my glue stick. And I'm going to just... Is this actually a sticker? I think it might be. But I'm just going to glue it on like this. Because I can. And I'm going to say, believe you, right there. And then I have a few other little things that I can add. And this guy, oh my goodness, I have so many things I can add. Um, one thing I could do is take off some of these. What a mess. And just add a few little, maybe right here. Oh, look at that. I'll just take those and put them right there. Now it's all spiced up, right? Looks a little better. Thank you all for joining in and watching, trying to figure out how to do these lives. It's kind of fun. So, I also have cute little guys in here. No, I don't think I'll do that. Let me take a few out of there. Let's see. No, don't really like that color. Let's find a few more things here. Hmm. Well, I got this cute little ocean thing. I need to give that to somebody. Oh, I think this will work. So, I will put that up here. I think that's perfect. Take my glue. Put a little glue on here. I love these tiny little flowers. They're so darn cute. Okay, I'm gonna put that right in there. And that looks cute. And I put my paper clip back in there, keep it fresh. And let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys, today I received a few things that I ordered, and one of them was this tiny cute little pair of scissors, which I'm surprised they're so small, but I just love them. They're adorable. So, let's see. What do you think of that? Should we add some more things to this? Maybe. I think I might add some lace or something like that. Let's see what else. What else can we put? Let's look at this. Nah, I don't think so. I think we need to find something else. Hello, Nicole. Thank you for popping on. That was nice to see you watching. Let's see. What else can we put on here? Uh, that's not going to work. Let's see. Let's see. So many different things I can grab from. But really what I want is some lace or something. Oh, maybe this. I love this guy. I think I'll put maybe... What do I do? Put it right down there. I think I'm going to cut a little bit off with my scissors. Okay. And then I think... That'll work. Okay. Some more glue here. Hi, thank you. Thank you for saying it looks beautiful. But you are my daughter, so you would say that. <laughs> That's very nice of you, though. Thanks all for popping on with me. I really appreciate that. It's nice to see everyone. This is my very first live ever. And I'm really excited about it. All right, I'm going to set that aside for a minute while I think about if I should put something else on there. And I'm going to go ahead and look at these. I really like this color. It's kind of a gold color. Maybe I'll use a few of those. Just put a few right there. And already it looks better. And then I think I'm just going to... Oh, that doesn't look quite straight enough. Does it? It's kind of off a little all right, and then I'm going to add this guy right there. I know, I'm just not even thinking ahead, really, which is how I normally do things. I just start doing things and digging through and grabbing stuff. I think maybe not that. Ooh, but I do like this. I think I'll add this. I'll go ahead and... That right in here, I think, is a good spot. Just off-centered a little bit. And then 
Hmm, what else? What else? Hmm. I'm going to try to do a live once a week going forward now that I figured out how to do it. And um, so if you have things you would like me to show you how to do, I'm happy to do that. Just, you know, pop over and send me a message. No, it's got to be maybe something just a little bigger. And then I have this bin. I have bins everywhere, you guys. And I don't know what I'm going to put where, but oh, that was pretty. Where did that thing go? These are so pretty. Have you seen these? Oh, I love them. So simple and yet so pretty. I think I need one of these tiny little bows that are in here, but it needs to be not that color. Maybe that one will look right there. Black kind of like it. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Put some glue on there, just a bit. And just add that. And then I'm going to find something to put up on the top of that. And if you don't know, this is a Sugarbell icing bottle. It has a very fine tip and I put my Fabrifix glue in there. That's the glue I like to work with. And then... Hmm, what, 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 what. That's so cute, but it's too big. What else could I put there? That. Eh, oh, cute. I should find a way to put one of those on there. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll actually work that on there anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of like it, so kind of covers that up, but that's okay. I don't mind it. Sometimes I change what I'm doing right mid midstream, especially since I'm doing things on the fly for the most part. I think it looks cute. And then some, some word or some I have this. Someone gifted me this. Belinda. Thank you. I'm going to look for something maybe that could work on there. I don't know. Actually, I don't know if this is the right thing. Let's see. Let's keep looking. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did have some. Where did I do? Oh, here. Maybe in this section I can find. Oh, there you go. Right there. Okay. That's too big. But maybe. Hope. I like hope. I'm going to put that there. What are you guys working on? What are you doing? What are you making? Uh, I think that looks good. All right, so I'm gonna set that one aside for a minute. I've been work mass making things, so I have this stack you see here of oops, um, ones I've kind of worked on a little, and they've kind of curled a little. So what I normally do, what I normally do is I have this book. Here and I usually take it and put some inside, and then I set something on top of it, and then it'll flatten it out after a day or whatever. I'll look at it tomorrow, and it'll be it'll be flattened out. But for now, not really working. So I'm just gonna keep moving along. I still feel like I need to put something like here. Maybe I should. Nope, can't do that. Stamp something there, maybe. How about journal like that? Let's try it. This is it. This is walnut stain. Hopefully there's enough liquid in there. Maybe I'll try it on something just to see before I make sure I don't have to. I think I'll add a little bit of, it's very light, so I'm going to add. Spray a little bit of water in there. Try to, oops, <laughs> wrong way. Wait and get a little bit. Or re moisturize it. I do have something that I could put in there, but I don't think I need to yet. I'm just gonna, yeah, that'll work. Okay. Let me get these ones out of the way. And I'm gonna... Did you get the check paper like that? 
I'll actually show you how they came to start out with. I bought this book of guest checks, so originally they were like this. And then I um, added all these other things to it. And to get it to look inked on the edges, see the difference when you have something inked on the edge and then you don't? Let me show you. Here's my inker. Oh, that's not the right color. Like this. So then mm, I can change that. And then it really makes a difference. And you can do it in any color. I have other colors like pink and blue and purple, but I often end up using most of like, the brown shades. Sophie's barking. Everyone who knows me very well knows that little barker. I love her so much, but she's definitely a barker. And then maybe I want to kind of bring it in a little. And then you can see the difference. Well, let me see if I can get it higher. You can really tell. I know, it's, it's easier than it looks. So then, for example, on this one, I just took a... I just inked it like this, right? And then I took a piece of music paper that I have and I inked around that same technique and then I put a little flower on there and now I just need to add a few more things and um, oh my goodness, I might have to go let the dog in for a second. Please excuse me. Why are you going? How'd you get outside anyway? How'd you get outside of here? Alright, let's see. And then, I'd love to put this on here, but it would make it too thick to put on the inside, I feel. So, on the inside of a journal, so I have to save that for something else. But anyway, now I have these two that I'm considering whether they're going to be done. Thank you for saying they're pretty. And, uh try to figure out. Sometimes I'm not sure at first, so I just set them aside and think about it. I think I might add a little... Um, this is called <laughs> Crocodile number two, and I'm just going to use it to punch a hole right here, which of course I could use a little paper punch, but I don't have one handy right now. There. Well, I wanted to show you, I was thinking about putting a little charm on here, like maybe this guy, with one of these little things that look like bulbs, so some people call them bulb pins, and I don't want to just put it just through here like this, because that's boring, so I'm trying to find my little things that I made, oh, here they are, these guys which I made using a stamp, or a, not a stamp, but a punch that was this size and the punch that was that size. I'll have to show you how to do that one of these times. And then I'm just gonna ink it. And go ahead and ink and ink. Okay, now you can see the difference. If you look, might be hard, but I think you can tell. Anyway, and then I'm gonna get my then I'm going to get my glue stick, which, of course, I've left over here without the lid on it, but that is nothing new for me. I do tend to forget where I put things and leave without. Okay, so now that looks so much better, right? I'm going to put one on the back, too, though. So I'm going to put my lid on here real quick, and I've probably lost my paper clip for this. But I found it, so that's good. I'm going to pop that in there. Okay. And then I'm going to, oh, I still need to ink this. Ink it, ink it. Oh, the dogs. Sophie, come here. 
Sophers, come here, girl. Where are you? Come here. I'll put you on the camera. You can say hi. Oh, you're ready, aren't you? Come here. Oh, sorry about doing it. I'm sorry, baby. Come here. This is the one that's always barking, but it's hard to put her on camera because she's not as small. Well, let's see. How can I do it? How can I do it, girl? Let's see. Hold on. Can you be like that one? No, you're scared. Hold on. You're too scared. Let me. Let me see. I'll have to try it another time. She's not cooperating. We actually have four little dogs here. One is Sophie. One is Rocky. One is Precious, my mom's dog. And one is Scully, and they're all adorable. Okay, so anyways, I started and I put that here. See how that is? It looks so much better than just a hole. And then I think I'm going to see what this looks like. Let's see. there. Oh yeah, that's cute. Alright, I like it. Oh yeah, Sophie. She's here. And then, let's see, what else? What else? So many, so many choices. Let's see. Let's see, I love this, but it's way too big. <laughs> way too big. All right. Oh, but I have this. I ended up with one of these ribbons, and I love them. So, I have these pinking shears, and sometimes I like to go like this. Well, maybe I'll do it right here. No, I'll do it right here. And then like this. And then that looks so cool. I think that'll, that can go right there maybe. Or should I put it up there? I don't know. I think I'm going to put it right there. Okay. So, then I'm going to use my glue. Just glue across. So, I was thinking about doing a live once a week, as I mentioned. And I'm trying to figure out the best day and time to do that kind of a thing. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. I wish I could show you the journal that I just finished, but it's a surprise for someone I'm making it for, and I don't want to show it on here just in case she happens to be watching. Mm, let's see. What is a good color? Let's see. Mm, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I like this. I always like this color a lot. Let's see. Oh, that looks pretty. I think I might put that on there. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to put a little glue. Oh, I don't, don't forget to put this back in. And glue that guy right there. Hold that down. It dries pretty quick. Oh, yeah. Okay, now let's see. Looks cute. But we need something else. Oops, I didn't put enough glue, I think. And I shouldn't have lifted it up yet. That's okay, though. It works out fine. i just put it back on. And then let it set for a minute so it can dry. It does dry really fast, but not that fast, I guess. <laughs> okay, and then what else can we do? I'm just going to look around at what there is. Um, so many places. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but this is a pretty cool trick. Let me show you. Let me get a piece of paper. Like, I don't know, this for example. And I'll add a little water to make sure it's moist enough. And then I'll go like this. And then get the ink on here, and then I'm going to put it right here, hope it works, yeah, so then I could cut that out, and use that 
in one of my pieces. Looks like something you could write on, you know? And better should close that up. And take a look back here. Oh, I have this pretty flower left from mm, one of the from my journal that I just basically finished. It's so hard for me to finish a journal because I always feel like I need to add more. I'd love to bring the dogs on, but it's not that easy unless I move the camera all around. And They're not all together right now. All right, hold on. Let me try one more time. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sophie, come here, Sophie. Come here and say hi. Say hi. See, I am the special girl that always barks, but we love you, don't you? Don't you always bark? Okay, I'm going to scroll around and find Rock Doodle Head. Hey, say hi. This is your moment to shine, Rocky. Yeah. These are the only two I have in here right now. The other two are uh, downstairs. And uh, now you know what they look like. Anyway, I was thinking about putting that on there, but there's already a butterfly on there, so that's not going to work. So, I'm going to have to just look for something else to maybe put on here to spice it up a little. Oh my goodness, I have too many things. Oh, oh cute. Anyway, let's see. I have all this mess from just finishing the one journal that I... I need to go through everything and like resort it so I can get my supplies out for the journals I'm going to be working on. And let's see about this. Will this look cool? Well, this kind of does look cool. I like the coloring. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna use some of this. Oh, I know. These are not the scissors I need, but they'll work. Let me put that back in there. Hmm. Alright, maybe I'll put it on this side. I think I will. Alright. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to see how long is that going to be? Like about that long? And then I'm just going to make a line up to there. Put this guy over. And see how that looks. What do we think? I like it actually, but I might need to add some more. I'm still not satisfied that it's done yet. So let's see. What else can we do? We need a little bit more something, right? Maybe we need. Hmm. Mm -hmm. We already have love there. And we have this cute little. Dangling doohickey. I'd like to put some lace across here, but right now I'm in trouble. Oh, here's some. This will probably work, right? Let's try and see if this is something I could put here. No, I think it needs to be just no gold. No gold involved. Hmm, let's see, let's see. What's a particular one in mind? This one I think will work. We'll add some of this. See, which way is the right way? This way, I guess. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I like it. It's cute. Okay. Scissors. It's so funny how you can just, you know, at first, when I first learned about this craft, I was intimidated, but then I just started messing around because I usually just jump right into things and I'm okay with that. And then I just mess up until I get it right. And that's how I feel like I did with this craft. I I don't even know how I found it, but I was on YouTube, I think, and I went down a YouTube rabbit hole and it came out loving junk journals and I made four of them, I believe, before I felt like I was getting it right. <laughs> and um, after that, I feel like, yeah, it's not that hard once you get over being intimidated about it. I'm gonna let this dry. I'll hold it here and let it dry. Oh darn, I moved and I got some glue stuck to me. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
What I should do is make a bunch of clusters because I, um, I just finished that project and I have so much, so many things that I need to use up. And, oh. What do we think about that? That's kind of cute. I don't know if it's done though. Let's put this back here. But as you can see, it's not really hard. I mean, you're just kind of throwing some things together. But at first, you definitely might feel a little nervous. But you'll get over it if you just dive in. So if I take, you know, for example, the one I just inked earlier. And I go to my vintage music sheets that I've been also coffee dyed, right? And then I sorry and then I take I always try to save these little numbers and then I have a, an area where I keep them and then I can use them on my papers it's a good idea all right I'll put that guy there and then I, okay so I'll, another thing I keep jumping around but I'm going to show you this is my ruler that I love so much this guy um, and then I will just take some off. I just want to really use the part that has the music on it. Okay. Thank you all for joining me today. I really appreciate you sharing a few minutes of your day with me. And... I'd love to hear if you have any ideas or suggestions of things I can do. All right, so let's see. We've got this and this. Now I'm going to put some of the music page on here. I'm just going to go and ride around and just randomly pick something to put on here. And then I'm going to get my inking ready. Just start inking. And it makes it so nice and old world feeling, right? Warm and vintage looking. Back in the day, um, and even now, some people will use just um, matches and a lighter to burn and get this effect, but I think I will just keep doing it this way. I might have an accident. Okay, so now I just decide where I'm going to put it. I think because I left this edge so straight and I kind of did these, I'm going to Put it right on the right on the edge right there. And I didn't put my paper clip back in there, so I'm just gonna do it just to make sure it doesn't stick. And also a baby wipe. And hi Stacy, thank you so much for joining. Spending a few minutes here with me today. This is my first Junk Journal Live. <laughs> so I'm a little bit nervous, but it's the only way to get over being nervous is to do things. So I'm just going to do it. So anyway, I put the glue on and then I'm spreading it out and making it a little flatter. And then I'm just going to put it right here. Ooh, look. I almost did it upside down. That would have sucked. But now I'm going to do it over here. Because. Oh, get that glue on. Thank you, Susan. That's very sweet. I'm just not sure what I'm doing. But I'm just going to keep trying. Okay, so now you have this. So we went from the blank guest check to something on here. And I'm going to wipe my fingers with this wet, wet wipe. I always, like, need to keep putting the lids on everything and all that stuff. All right. And then, let's see. I have, like, that's pretty, but I don't think so. <laughs> and let's just keep looking. Oh, love all. Trust if you do wrong to none. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Maybe I can put that right there. I think these are stickers, but... 
I hate wasting my time trying to get the backs off, so often I'll just go ahead and glue them on. Doo -doo -doo. And I want to make sure you push the glue out to the ends so you get a good glue. Oh, that looks cute, actually. I think it looks cute, and I just got started, but I like it. And then, let's see. Love. Oh, no, we don't want any more of that right now. Keep looking. That I should make clusters with. Let's see. What color should we go with? Oh, I love that. See, I love that. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and go with that. Thank you all for being here. It's very nice to see everyone. Oh, let's see. Okay. Put that there. All right. And then I'm, I'll make sure I leave that to dry a little bit. Oh, put that back in. Whoops, sorry. Right on that screen like that. My eyes are so bad I can't get that in there. Where are my glasses? I should wear my glasses when they're right on top of my head. <laughs> Funny. All right, now I feel like there definitely needs to be something else in there. What else could it be? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, hmm. Those are pretty. See if I dare to cut a piece of this. I think it'll work. Hi, Antoinette. It's nice to see you. Thank you for stopping in. Let's see. Mm, I can put that there. Or maybe I'll do it there or there. Hmm. Maybe I won't do it at all. I've changed my mind. That's the way things work. <laughs> mm, that's pretty. You know what I found I love lately? Those translucent stickers. Who loves those things? They're so awesome. Well, that's kind of cool looking. Oh, hi, Marianne. Thank you for popping in. Let me see if I can find some of those translucent this is not quite the one I was talking about, but this will work. You like this on the right? Where did I put it? Now I've lost it all. Oh, here it is. You're talking about this on the right? Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's pretty nice. Okay, I'll go with it then. <laughs> Thanks, Stacy. I'm going to put some glue right on it. Oh, and then, yeah, I'm going to go like that. Hmm. I was thinking about adding this, but now I don't know. I might think about it some more. I think maybe a rose. Yes, I do, but it's your creation. You're so sweet. Alright, let me see if I can find the rose. I'm trying to find the rose. Or something like this, maybe. I think I'm looking for... Ooh, that's pretty. What do you think of that? Okay, this one or this one, which is similar, so part of the matter, right? So first or second? Or I maybe... <laughs> I think it's this one. And then I often, where'd my glue stick? I take the back off. When I can get them off, I'll take the back off and I'll just put a little glue on there. I think I'll put it right there. 
Thank you. These are the kind of translucent stickers that I just love. All right, I'm going to set that down for a minute because I want to show you guys something else. So I don't know if you're aware of these, but I got this one on Etsy, but you can get them at, on eBay and other places. But for example, if you're trying to mail something and you slide it through this hole and it fits through here, width and height, then you measure the weight, and if it's under one ounce, then you only need to use one stamp. And that is awesome because some because the post office told me, because I was sending my packages through thick and like not as big but thicker, and they said that's the um, that costs you more money. So spread it all out. If you have to use a nine by twelve envelope and make it as thin as you can. If you can use a regular envelope all the way up to nine inches and like a six by nine envelope I think is what fits in here I'm not sure uh, and just spread everything out and make it flat and then they uh, will put it through well you have a crappy one so what I would do if I was you is I would get one of these Okay, and then I would measure it yourself and get a thing that measures the weight and then just take it to the drop box. You know, those blue drop boxes. I've been doing that and nothing, not one thing has been returned to me. So I think you just have to um, do it yourself because I experienced what you're talking about, Stacy, when I was um, first going to the post office here in my little town. They told me that. Um, they just kept putting them through at the package rate, which is five something. And I, and then eventually there we're in a tiny little town. They were like, since you're doing so much of these, let me tell you some secrets and so, or some tricks or whatever she said. And so she told me all this different information. So, um, it would cost me less. And then one day I decided I was going to another little town near me and I went over there and I tried to mail some packages and they were going to charge me the five something rate. And I was like, you know what, I'll just keep them. And so, and I will mail them in my own town. So I took them back to my town and I mailed them and they mailed them for, I don't know, was it a good dollar something or whatever. So I saved, you know, I don't know, dot, lots of dollars there. And then another thing I thought I'd show you while I have you on is see how the end of this is straight, right? Flat. It's all broken up ruler, but it's flat. Now you see how that end is all messed up? So I made this a tear ruler. So let me show you what it looks like if you tear with it. Um, it's so cool. Which is better than this look. If you tear with this one, then you'd get a smoother look, right? Let me just show you, though. Well, that didn't work. Let me try again. Uh, so let's try this. Oh, pirate ship. I need to use them. But I just actually... Okay, so you can either have this look or this look, right? It depends on what you're looking for. Now, let me tell you a little secret about how I made this ruler. So I got this trick from someone else, but I um, took this ruler and I took um, actually something like this. It was just a hard metal thing. And I melted a little bit at a time with my lighter. Right here I started. And when it got kind of melty, I just started tapping it like this and it messed it up like it is, right? which is what I wanted. Then I do a little more and tap it, tap it, tap it uh, with anything. I mean, I could have done it with this, right? It doesn't matter. Uh, something metal and hard. And maybe I'll do one of those one day on the on the live when I get another ruler like this. But Or I could do the other side, I guess. But it's actually so simple and saves you so much money because these things are so cheap and you can probably find them at the thrift store or the dollar store, right? Make your own real tear ruler for so much cheaper. Anyway, it's getting late and I, I well, thank you. Um, I think I should start getting my dinner started. And, uh, but it was so nice to share some time with everybody. Thank you so much, Stacy. Um, by the way, I won one of your junk journals a few months ago on the 
on the auction on one of the other sites and I still have it and I love it to pieces and it's so beautiful that I can't even make myself use it <laughs> anyway I just thought I'd share that with you since you're there hi Susan thank you so much for joining I have so many other tips and tricks I'd love to share with you guys so I'm mean, gonna definitely try to do this more often and um, <laughs> Thank you, Stacy. Um, and it's really nice to visit with you all. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a nice evening. Okay? Good night.